So the episode opens with somebody complaining about lights not working and somebody trying so hard to impress somebody. They nervous in a nervous rage. So Gabby and Adario. Um, y'all just gonna sit there and take it. Um Y'all doing having girl chat now? I'm confused. What is this? What is this? Jennifer and Eric. Well, damn, Eric, are you kissing the way you're missing her? Oh, what's going on? Because, goddamn, that was a mighty long kiss. From the last clip that was Friday to now, what, well, Thursday? That's a long ass kiss. Damn, Eric, did you kiss up every day? You missed that beautiful face of Jennifer? What we what you going for a record for the Lord longest kids? Something going on. And how the hell you gonna say sorry after you kissed or you shouldn't have done that? Yes, you should have done that. Y'all love each other. And you ain't sorry for kissing her at all. You know it and I know that. Oh dear God. Teenagers on the Monday. Really? Y'all gonna give me Claire, Theo, and Sierra on a Monday? Really? Y'all wrong and nasty as fuck for that days. So this little help up here squealing and hollering because Sierra said she was going to grandma that she wasn't. And, and bitch, you got a room. Take your little tired ass in your room and fuck. Don't be fucking on the com on the um on the community sofa. Better yet, the damn sofa of the visitor sofa. What the fuck wrong with you? This ain't just you and Theo House. You little nasty heifer. Don't nobody want your I ain't much going to go there. Nobody want y'all sexual fluids all over the goddamn bed. What the hell wrong with you? Go, go, go fuck up your own damn bed, not the damn sofa. What the sofa did to you? Oh, dear God. Chad for the teller. He got feelings for gambling. That mean... Oh, God. That means she for the freak the fuck out. Even and I still say, bitch, this is your fucking fault. Ain't nobody tell you to leave time home. This is your fault. He got offended for your best friend. I don't feel sorry for you. Not even much a little bit, ho. I don't give a fuck if Ben was hunting you in your sleep, your dreams, or in your goddamn underwear. Bitch, you should have stayed there and fought it like everybody else stayed there. You daddy get you lots of to run your ass out of town for almost a whole year. Did you really think that member gonna mourn your ass years later down the road? No, bitch. He found somebody else to get under. Now your ass jealous and insecure to Abigail. Go to hell, cause you got the wrong person here. You think I'm finna feel sorry for your tired ass? You should've stayed your ass in town and fuck you in your feelings. <sighs> Claire, don't don't flatter your damn self. Think of somebody that damn jealous and insecure. Your little barber head ass. Don't 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 let that go to your head. First of all, you here for. Second of all. What do you expect fucking on the goddamn couch? Your ass ain't grown. Take your take that shit to the damn bedroom. That's what you do. Plotting to break you up. Oh, bitch, please. You got that all by yourself. Ain't nobody got to lift a finger nor do nothing at all. You gonna fuck that up sooner or later. As you can see, Theo so goddamn embarrassed, he didn't walk out the goddamn room. But yet you don't care just as long as you get in Sierra ass. That makes you feel so much better, though. Honey, you can't break up history. And Sierra and, um, and um, Theo got history. You try to break that up if you want to, honey. That's going to come back to make you look like the dumb ass. So you go right on here look like the dumb ass. I'm going to sit right here and laugh at your silly ass. Oh, Lord, and here come Dario scheming, trying to break Chad and Abigail love. You ain't got to do too much scheming him. She glad he told him, but it hurts. It really, really hurts. Well, bitch, you shouldn't have left town. You shouldn't have left town when planning on coming back. And you wouldn't have your husband applying at another woman. Another woman. That's your fault. Dario, sit your ass down. 
Abigail gonna fuck all that up herself. You gonna get Abigail in just to the nick of time. You ain't seen, you ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to touch nothing. Set nothing up. Plot. Abigail good at fucking up her own damn shit. Dario, just sit back and wait patiently. Hold on, you will have them. Claire, are you serious? So it's his problem and his fault that he don't want to have sex with you. So now you're going to throw the shit on him and make it seem like it. Oh, Jesus. Well, I know I said your daughter was more mature than you is. I take that shit all the way back. Well, you might want to teach your daughter how to talk to people and learn how to be respectful, not damn disrespectful. Because your daughter, is something wrong with her ass. I mean, literally something wrong with her. She don't know how to talk to people. She rude as fuck. I guess y'all ain't got her ass so fucking spoiled that she say the shit that come out of her mouth is okay to say about somebody and know she can do or say whatever she want because y'all... Bell, do days of friends all of a favor and take your daughter to Hong Kong. Please and hurry. Thank you. So Abigail wants to dance with Dario. Dario respectively declined all three, four times she asked. <laughs> Chad's supposed to be talking to Gabby, telling her to stay away and cutting her off. Yeah, that went outside of cutting her off with the I love you. Mm hmm. A mess. I can't. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.